Welcome to a Silk Central support video. My name is Matthew and I work in the Silk Central support team. Today we are going to demonstrate how to use the manual testing client to run through a manual test, mark them past or failed, take screenshots and log any bugs that we encounter during playback. As soon as I am logged in, as I am representing a tester today, I have the manual test assigned to me panel already assigned to my dashboard. If you do not have this, you can add this by clicking the Add Panel option. As I already have two tests assigned to me, the first thing I want to do is continue to run these. I can do this under the Actions column. As soon as I click Run, the option for the manual testing client will appear. As you can see, we are presented with the details of the test case, and we can also see any attributes that may be assigned to the test case from this panel as well. We can mark the individual steps below as passed or failed. You have shortcuts, as you can see provided here, if you want to, if you're running through a lot of test cases. And we also have access to the status reasons that we may, we may have added to our environment. As we can see, I've added some custom statuses here, such as blocked, not applicable, and environmental. For this example, I will mark this test as not applicable. We can now see that the top level status has now been moved to in progress as well for this test case. I will now be able to take a screenshot. This will present any information back to the developer why the test case has passed or failed. As soon as I click this option, we will see that the manual testing client will be minimized and we will now have the option to capture the screen. You're presented with a sample of what we've captured, and we can then upload this to Silk Central. As you will see, there is no indication that this has been uploaded currently. To do this, we must synchronize the run. As soon as we have synchronized this run, we now see the screenshot available, and we can view this in our browser. The next step we might want to do is we were running through the test cases. We will be able to log a bug. You can log this to both external and internal issue tracking tools. Today I'm going to demonstrate logging a bug to Jira. The first step is we will add the synopsis. As you can see, it's already pre-filled some information here, such as the testing cycle name and the test case itself. We also have the username and password for our Jira integration, and we can specify the issue type that we want to log this as. If there is any other fields that you require, they can be selected in this create issue dialog as well. You press OK and we can then see that a new issue has been created for this test case. We can then see that this has been added to the issues dialog in the Silk Central manual testing client. If you also have the manual mobile add-on for Silk Central added, you will be able to select an Android or iOS device to play back this manual test on. This will enable a screencast of the mobile device, which you can interact with during playback. Thanks very much for watching this demonstration of the manual testing client. If you like this video, please subscribe below. You will also find links in the description to other videos for all Microfocus products. Thanks very much.